you know, you know, I've got, I wanted to ask you as well. Are you actually a Liverpool fan or a Swansea fan? No, no, Swansea, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, I take. Um, <laughs> so when Swansea were really poor, you know, back I, in the fourth no, division, no, I, uh, were you walking around the Liverpool top? I, no, no, never touched it. <laughs> no, no, I uh, chaperone. A friend of mine who's a big Liverpool fan up and back to uh, to Anfield, so I know I know the feeling. I know the current feeling that's going on within there. I'm not supporting myself, and yeah. I know I know exactly what you're coming on to. Yeah. Um, this conundrum now. Yeah. Um, one thing I will say in terms of domestic local seasons, I don't think it's going to be that easy to finish them. Right. Um, cup semi-finals, maybe. You know. Cups or competitions that have reached the semi-final stage, possibly you're talking three games maximum. You know, I think at professional level, I think it's viable that um, the, pre- well, the current football leagues, you know, which is so much talk about, can be finished because I think there you, you've got the more access to stadiums, the, the fixtures, you know, that sort of thing. Um, plus, you know, when things do get back up and running, and like round here, you know, you know what happened? You, you started again eight weeks. Me- Nine weeks to go, the first two get washed out. <laughs> you know, and all you've got another battle on your yeah. hands. But I don't think, in, I don't think right now that legally they can they can hand Liverpool the title as it is, right? Yeah. But I do think they have to do everything they can to try and finish the current season, even if it means disrupting the next one. Yeah. Um, I think again, in an ideal world, you know, everything's back and up and running by September. We don't know if that's going to happen. I think. If you almost have to play next season by year now, what my personal suggestion would be that if if you can get this current season finished by Christmas, yeah. and then if the clubs agree to it, it's a massive if, you could maybe play a half season where instead of everyone playing each other twice, they play each other once, mm-hmm. and then lead that into Euro 2021, and then start again in, in um, September 2021 and domestically. It's... Um, it's not an ideal solution, but I don't think there are any ideal solutions here. Um, but I think if you, you know, everyone, everyone talks about the Liverpool situation and that they're 25 points, of course they're going to win the title, everyone, everyone knows that, all right? Um, so you should just hand it to them. But it, once you hand it to Liverpool, you then set a precedent everywhere else, you know? So what about in the lower divisions where you've got Leeds, West Brom, you know, one point or a couple of points apart at the moment, you know? Who do you hand the title to? Who do you hand the third promotion place to? And then you've got the relegation spots and so on, and you've got massive legal implications. So I think they've got to do everything they can to try and finish the season, but I don't think they can hand it to them in the current positions that they are. No, no. I, I don't think, you know, everyone recognises there's a bigger picture at the moment, yeah. right? But it's inevitable, whichever support you involve, self-interest comes in. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's, not, that's not accusing people of being selfish, that's just a natural reaction, you know? If, if you're a Liverpool fan, your natural reaction right now is you want the, um, you want the title award as it is, you know? Mm-hmm. Perhaps if you're, say, a West Ham fan, I know a lot was made of Karen Brady's comments over the weekend, you know, she wants the league annulled because West Ham are in big relegation danger. Yeah. You know, if you're maybe an Everton fan or, or someone in mid-table at the moment who's not not going to win any cup, not fighting for any silverware, perhaps isn't isn't going to go down, isn't going to challenge the title. Then you're probably not really bothered. You know, you're probably not really that bothered. So but if that that means uh, you know that thing, like if you're an Everton fan, you might not be bothered. Any <laughs> well, yeah, okay, right, <laughs> right, right, right choice of club, but well, uh, yeah, okay, inevitably, yeah, Colin on me now. <laughs> but inevitably, self interest has come in yeah. here now. But no, you know, I think they do, and I think the Premier League are making noises at the moment. They can do everything to try and finish this currency, and even if it means disrupting the next one, and that's the way it would go at the moment. I wouldn't be making any kind of concrete plan. I think this, this provisional commitment that all of Europe's top leagues have to finishing all by June the 30th is madness. I think it's madly optimistic. I think you're probably talking, finishing it closer to Christmas if everything is blown over by then and then assessing what you do with the following season. Yeah, it's, uh, it really is uh, really difficult, like you know, and uh, I mean, obviously, again, you know, touching on where we're talking sports and all things and people might be thinking, well, it's not really the be all and end all. It is to a lot of people, as we touched on, it's 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 more it's it's more than just a game to some people. It's it's a livelihood, it's an outlet, it's it keeps them mentally, you know, and socially balanced. Um, but there is massive problems going on <laughs> elsewhere as well. And 
just looking at other things as well happening, you know, and ask you like a personal question now. Like, you know, yeah. I mean, I say, uh, is, uh, you know, people are getting married. Yeah. You know, I mean, you, you've got a wedding obviously coming up, haven't you? July 18th. July 18th, and uh, thanks for the invite to the Stag Do. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. You missed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really enjoyed it. Yeah, I obviously did what me in Scotland, I don't blame you. Uh, keep the troublemakers away, was it? <laughs> so he's he's on the band list. <laughs> it was, it, it, in hindsight, it was very borderline timing as well. It was, you know, <laughs> it, you know, getting back, wasn't it? But uh, is there any news on that? No, I think you know it's something that you, just say you, you can't think self, too selfishly about these things. Bigger picture, something you can't do anything about. <laughs> you can't do anything about. There's plenty of other couples in the same boat who can't do anything yeah. about. And you know, we've got to think about the venue. You know, it's, yeah. it's you know, Celtic camping. It has hundreds of visitors every week you know, he relies on that no one knows how that that places like that are going to be hit in the next couple of months you know and, and that's the venue so no it's um you know it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if it was postponed you know i think there's there's a much bigger picture than people's weddings right now even mine um, <laughs> have, you, have you told your uh, good lady that no you know? no hope, hopefully she's not watching <laughs> but um no and uh, of course, yeah. Sporting events, local yeah. events, all, all kind yeah. of events, you know. Yeah. The, the local darts leagues is is reliant on local pubs. Yeah. You know, those local pubs, to be fair, put quite a bit back into sport, you know. Yeah. And, and you're talking just a knock-on effect for everybody. Well, it is. I mean, the pubs, you know, obviously we're, we're in the bishops. Uh, the bishops sponsor the rugby club. You know, all you know, the, s the sloop have, have sponsored it in the past. You know, they've you know they've sponsored events that we do as well. You know, we've been very lucky. You know. To work with them and, and have sponsorship from them for Rasto Sand, especially in the early days when we started off, yeah. you know they really helped us out financially. So, you know, all these sort of sponsor, sponsors sponsors and are going to be looking at, you know, can, can they afford it? You know, exactly. are, are they going to have to keep their money? Yeah, you're going to have to keep your know, cash is king, as they as they keep yeah, on saying. Yeah, They're going to have to keep hold of what you've got, yeah. um, and and not put into yeah. the niceties and and you know it's as difficult as it is. Like you know, it's yeah. but it's. A very, uh, very knock-on effect, like yeah. Is what we should touch on. So much of today is a slightly negative tinge to it. Inevitably, yeah. is what's going on at the moment. But it also has been quite heartening to see that, you know, we, you know, sport. Uh, the, whole, the quote is not a matter of life. It, it is or death, or whatever. It's important to people, and you know, it's so. I think only now we're realizing how important. Yeah. You know, I, I was scrolled through social media on Saturday afternoon and there were, there were people bored out their brains, you know, because they realized that this was the reality of what they were facing yeah. for months. And, you know, it has been quite almost amusing, but, you know, nice as well in these times to see through social media, which gets a lot of flack, right? And a lot of it justified rallying round as well. You've got, you've got the whole of Pembrokeshire and, and beyond currently rallying around St Clair's Football Club because they're in the <laughs> semi-final, the best crest challenge on Twitter, you know, and, and, and it's suddenly picking up and it's getting competitive, you know, I think there's a record number of votes, it's 51 to 49 with yeah. this badge from Newcastle, Newcastle. you know, and, and, um, and you've got at the Ammonford AFC you know, have proposed this kind of FIFA tournament or online game tournament and inviting clubs where money goes to the NHS, you know, so it's it, it's been heartening reminder that people's competitive spirit just just doesn't die. Yeah. You know, your natural instincts is always to compete. You know, and there's people talking about setting up FIFA tournaments and online game tournaments and online rugby tournaments and so on. You know, and I think you will get a lot more of that. I think people with um, with bikes in their home, you know, and running machines yeah. in their home will be competing with people over social media. So there is. You know, if, if there's one positive that's come out of the past week, sporting-wise, mm. is to see that people will just some people will carry on regardless. You know, oh, people yeah. will carry on competing. You know? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm touching on that there. You know, I'm I'm looking. I'm trying to sort of be positive, thinking right. There's there's things I need to do around the house and in the business. Yeah. You know, stuff that's been just put on the back burner. Yeah. So, you know, you're looking at that, but I'm also looking right. I've got to give myself some sort of challenge to do, like yeah. you know, something. Yeah. You know, I'm going to use this time, you know, to train myself. You know, I've been saying that for a long time now. But you know, to, to do some sort of challenge myself. These virtual races that we're putting on, I, I'll be able to do those now. Yes, yes. So uh, it is about about that. And, and you know, obviously, probably not the time to ask you because what we've been talking about sports being cancelled, and everything. But you know, what are you going to looking to do with your sporting career now? You know, I mean, obviously, you're still playing rugby for neighbours. Uh, of sorts, yeah. Of sorts. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, 
you know, I mean, and you will probably play rugby for St David's if uh, if you want to until you're 55, like you know. So you know, are you going to move into the? You know, you've done you've done a few Rastawi yeah. Sants, uh, you yeah. know, 10Ks. You've done other 10Ks around the place. Uh, you know, and you've done very well in them, haven't you? You know, you, you've you've had top finishers, you know, top three finishers. Are you yeah. going to look at maybe developing more into uh, yeah. that sort of side of things? Yes, certainly, and I think that is, um, you know, it, it's definitely an intention to, to happen very soon. I think that is perhaps in in my line of training at the moment, maybe I'm one of the more fortunate ones because I, I, I do a lot of running on my own. You know, I, I've never been. Other people are different. Other people like to have a training partner and a different one, and, and Strava and so on, and be public about it. I've been always been quite private about the, my training. I I start my stopwatch when I run. I do my run. I stop my stopwatch in my own head. I know the time I've done for next time. You know, I don't I don't broadcast it or anything like that. And that is possibly <coughs> one. Or you, you have to be careful about your routes and, and what time. But that is, I think, one avenue where they. They're saying you can carry on at the moment, going out for isolated walks and runs and mm. things like that. So you know, I think, and um, I do a pair of, of light dumbbells at home. You don't need to for endurance. I don't think be doing anything heavier weight-wise than, than what I'm doing at the moment. So I think, you know, I, I, I could almost I could make the best of a bad situation. I think I think not everyone can do that. It depends on your sport and, yeah. and your priorities. You know, um, for people who are who are powerlifters and don't have their own equipment at home it's going to be a very difficult few months because the chances are all their establishments are going to be shut you know but but for people like me who, who um, are perhaps more fortunate and that we maybe can still train of sorts can keep ticking over and yes so to answer your question yes I would like to push on from this now you know? yeah. um, it's, it's strange because uh, I was talking to someone um, in CKs the other night and we talked about all this and how everything's closing down and and their only concern was, and what they said to me, oh, well, you'd be all right because you've got a gym in your house, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which uh, which you, know, you think, oh, that's their only thing, like yeah, you know, yeah. is that you know we haven't got a gym to go no, to, no. like you know, and you know, and I understand that mentality. That's their main yeah, point of it is point of training, and, and that is you know the whole thing that we've been touching on with you know how it's affecting different people, yeah. and to some it's just a sport being cancelled, but even that comment there of someone yeah. saying. That you know they haven't got a gym to go to now, and they haven't got anywhere to train, and, and it's a big thing to them. Yeah. You know, and there is only so many push-ups you can do, and different ways yeah, of doing sit-ups and bur burpees yeah. and stuff. Yes, you can do them, and yeah. and they'll keep you there. But if if it drags on for three months, four months, it yeah. starts. You know, it's, it starts affecting people, like you know, and, uh, and the swim program is very big in Pembrokeshire Wales amongst human people. You know, mm -hmm. and. and I think we're at a, quite a critical point in what would have been swimming season, you know, and, and, and you've got juniors here who, and, and it's, a, it's a huge commitment, you know, you're talking 6am training, I think, parents taking them to Half West Pool at that time, and they have, they've had to work incredibly hard to, to get into that, um, perhaps their swim whale squads, or even their, their the Pembrokeshire Performance Elite Squad, I think it's called as well, you know, and, and swindles, swimming is one of those sports, it's a small window, you yeah, know, definitely. you get a lot of very good when you're young, very few of that, you know, percentage of, of those who are good or young will, will go on, especially from, from Wales, who knows, to go on to compete on, on a massive stage, I mean like a Commonwealth or Olympic Games, you know, and, and a lot of these youngsters will miss the boat now, you know, and that, that's the harsh reality of it, they'll miss whatever national championships were going to come up and it's not going to be so easy to pick up again you don't know when the swim pools are going to open again you know and they'll they'll regress you know immeasurably in, in the next few months which is a sad thing to say but it's a harsh reality you know so i think it, it's certainly some sports perhaps some training is more fortunate than others if that makes sense in that yeah. in that some have got short of having a swimming pool in your house so yeah. you know you and, and, that, and, and, that's, and that takes us back to Ironman. You know, one of the biggest things with Ironman is yeah. it that puts people off is the swimming. Yeah. Although it's the smallest part of it, that swim yeah. is, is a psychological barrier yeah. to people. And, and although people will train in pools and pools and pools, you know, that's why they come down to swim to the edge. Yeah, to, to, to get a little yeah. bit of experience in the sea because everything they've done is, is that pool-based stuff and then they, they want to get the, the feel of the, of the chop of the sea. You know, without getting that in this type, this this moment yeah. in your training plan, without getting that swim session in, and also to knock your time down that you can comfortably finish within the cutoff of the swim. That's a lot of people are worried about, and yeah. and to uh, and there are and there are a lot of people who um, who do go on this 
we've all heard the stories of being inspired who go on this how to be an iron man in a year yeah. uh, training program you yeah. know and, and uh, people i've spoken to before and he, he wasn't lying he said honest to god i, I haven't um, won competitor who finished it he said i couldn't swim a length the year before mm. iron man he couldn't swim a length you know and and, it, and it's people like him now which just you'd think they'd have no chance really if, if, if the pool's going to be closed but for the next few months, even if they reopened again midsummer, you'd think we'd have very little chance of competing. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, going back to when I did Ironman, you know, uh, uh, you know, I'd been, you know, part of the Surf Life Saving Club mm -hmm. as a as a kid, and I used to the scene. I didn't mind the scene. I'd been kayaking, and surfing as a youngster. Didn't mind rough weather, but I hadn't swam for years. I swam in the pool every day i put so much effort into the pool i mean i was working in harvard west i'd go in at six o'clock in the morning and i would swim for an hour two hours just to get you know back to the speed back and the comfortable yeah. co comfortability of of swimming yeah. and, and and get that back without doing that i mean had i not done that i wouldn't have been able to to, to do the event like you know so so I, and there's a lot of people in that situation, you know, so it, it's... Uh, the more we talk about this, the less conceivable is that I am actually go ahead, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and people wanting to do it, isn't there? Or well, people saying, well, you know, I, I imagine they get a lot of emails at the moment from people saying, can I defer it? Yeah. Because what they're thinking is, am I going to be in a, in a position? Also, a lot of people have paid, uh, they're doing a payment plan now, aren't they? Yeah. So you probably paid the first Although bit. Although a lot, I think it's 10th anniversary this year, so yeah. a lot actually paid for the ninth one. And then deferred. Deferred, yeah. So, you know, yeah. you're talking again. And they probably won't defer. You know, they won't even defer you twice. twice you no, know, they, they, they will, they'll be quite yeah. strict. And I can understand that as well. Yeah. You know, because, you know, they've got things they've got to pay for. Um, yeah, it is. I mean, this, when we were talking about this now, two years ago, we started talking about doing something like this. We were all about being lighthearted. Being, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Being, uh, You're getting nicer from now on. Yeah, yeah. being be lighthearted yeah. and having a little bit of a, a fun look at you know yeah. what's happening in, in the sporting world, yeah. what's happening in the events world, giving ourselves little challenges to do and stuff like that. Interviewing people. I mean, obviously it's just me and you here today, but the idea is is to get people people on the show who were who were competing in things so, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. Pe to, within yeah. Pembrokeshire and beyond Pembrokeshire. Uh, getting people in to come in and tell us what challenges they're taking on, what motivates them, and and just learn a little bit about their cause and, and, and why they're doing it uh, which we will crack on with um, and we'll have to find something to have lighten the mood really <laughs> yes yeah yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, uh, and and venues as well and venues yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah well uh, well this probably be shut wouldn't it mm. well, well yeah I, what I'm gonna do I'm cleaning up my office I'm turning into a studio like yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah so uh, yeah I'll have to yeah it's not like I, I live in a mansion now, I've got a GF office. <laughs> yeah, I've got two rooms. Yeah. Even if living but no, 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 look forward to it, to yeah. having people on, you know, and um, yeah. I think we've had to start here, haven't we? Oh, you definitely. know, the subject to start on. Yeah, just definitely, we've got to cover all of this mm. and to see where we're at and, uh, and where things are going to go. And really, it's like a lot of things at the moment, it's all a lot of opinions, isn't it? Yeah. And just best guesses. I mean, you're in a better position to guess than most, I'd have thought, with your, uh, you know, as it's your job to, to be involved in the... In Again, but everyone you speak to, whether it be on or off record, is is, is coming back to the same thing. It's, it's totally unprecedented and we, we can't put a, a time scale on it, which, which is fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> what can you really say? No. You know, um, you know it, it, temperature cricket was the latest to, to announce the inevitable yesterday, you know, and... I, I mean, and I and you know, I've stopped. Look, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I probably don't know if I should say this or not, but I'm going to say it. You know, whether I put it in or not is another thing. Uh, is, uh, you know, I went through uh, Brexit on social media, and I went through uh, the election, and there was people annoying me, but I didn't do anything about it. I didn't unfollow them. Didn't do this. Mm. There's people I've started unfollowing over mm. over the coronavirus. You know, and, and people have, you know, and I've never done that before over anything because it's just, it's all people's opinions and they're just spread and, and people are using it as a political tool to yeah, say, yeah. you know, the government aren't doing this, government aren't doing that. You know, this is a worldwide problem. You know, I'm not going to get political on it at all. I'm not supporting anyone. I, I don't know what's what, you know. Yeah. Uh, I've stopped reading all reports. And I, I look at one update, whatever 
press conference the government give and then whatever other people are sort of spin they're putting on that is just mm. spin isn't it like you know uh, you know I, you know, and we're all to an extent we're all concerned about ourselves really yeah. as much as you're concerned about the world you're concerned about everyone else and you would help out locally and there's, there's some good groups in St David's being set up to help out yeah, local certainly. people you know I've put my name down for that I'm willing to help out in any way you want uh, but everyone's got one eye on are they going to get paid? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. You know, of course. are they? Because what we said you know, back to support media, you know, it's inevitable self-interest yeah. does kick in. You know, we, yeah. everyone's concerned about each other, but there is what has to be. Yeah. It has to be because it's, yeah. you know, it's your future. You've got to stop planning for now and, and try yeah. to you know, so. is, is you know, I, I do know this from a personal point of view as well. You know, when when times are hard, you know, and, and you're in a bad place or whatever, you have got to, you have a focus, and if your focus is getting out of bed, you know, doing press-ups, burpees, running up and down yeah. the stairs, uh, painting, cutting the grass, cleaning your shed, whatever you, whatever it is, and getting out for, you know, getting out and walking. I mean, yeah. you know, you don't have to run, you don't have to, you know, don't go and do stupid things. I probably will try and do some stupid things. Yeah, me too, but, but, you, don't to, yeah. but you don't have to, yeah. you know, if, if you don't feel like, even if, even if you don't feel like it, you just got to get out and walk, that fresh air. I mean, the amount of times, you know, when, when you're feeling bad and you're feeling down yeah, and you get out and, you know, for, for someone like myself, you walk around the cathedral, walk around the valley, walk down to White Sands, walk back, mm. I never feel worse for that. You know, you feel better. And, and a, lot, a lot of people are going to need headspace yeah. in, the, in, the, in the next yeah. in the You know, you've got your whole, you know, you know, I saw one thing say murder rates are going to go up because everyone's going to be, all families are going to be squashed in the house together. Yeah, like, you yeah. talk about social media, I saw a, um, I saw a, Someone tweeted that a top divorce lawyer had advised that um, at, um, there'd be a big percentage of divorces now in the next 12 months, like rising up, you know. And it, yeah. it reminded me of when I was a kid watching wrestling and, you know, JR quote of where there's chaos, there's opportunity. You know, <laughs> <laughs> think, so, you think the ultimate businessman, you know, are still yeah. eyeing big opportunities yeah. through this. Well, I, I, it's, uh, yeah, I don't think you know, people talk about the Walking Dead and stuff like that, you know, and, and these zombie things where it turns into lawless sort of Britain. I, you know, I don't think we're that far away. <laughs> I, I don't think it'd take much for us to yeah. get to that stage. Yeah. You know, but uh, but St David's pretty carries on as normal. St David's carries on as normal. <laughs> I, 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 and I think it, it goes back to to what you said earlier about the um, the events thing. Is that you know, you were hung out to try a bit, guys like you, because <clears throat> you were advised to do things without being ordered to do things, right? Yeah. And if you, and the same with the pubs, the pubs haven't been ordered to shut, they've mm. just been advised, you know, and, and, and until they are told to shut, people will plow on regardless. Yeah. That, that's how society works. I'm not agreeing with it. I'm not saying it's right, you know, and it'd be the same with you. If you plowed ahead with the the Rastery Sand as normal mm. in April, right, and said we're running it, I can guarantee some people would turn it, mm. you know. Well, um, I actually had a booking this morning on an event that hadn't closed off. Yeah. Someone has booked, and I thought, who the hell's paid? You know, but uh, I had a booking on Rastafari Sand two or three days ago, which, and then I, obviously I've closed it online yeah. now. But, um, I mean, if we'd have ran Tour de Shane, you know, with all the things that we put into place, if we'd have ran that, and, you know, having 250 cyclists spread out over a 50 and 70 mile course and done everything, someone who knew nothing about what we had done or the plans we had done would say this is totally irresponsible would put or someone yeah. a tweet out or comment on our Facebook page somebody who didn't know would say this is totally irresponsible mm. blah 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 and you should be ashamed of yourself not knowing that yeah, you yeah. know what yeah. what measures we'd put in and, and in reality it was probably quite a safe thing to do however once they put the guidelines they've put in now you know there's nothing we can do, and 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 people understand that, you know. Yeah, people are, people are good, like you know, are good, like you know, and uh, yeah, it's just I don't know. Well, hopefully, when we next meet in a couple of weeks, we still got jobs. Huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what is, what they got planned for. I mean, we've got to be we've got to improvise the next few weeks because without yeah. saying it's it's going to be interviews, features, nostalgia stuff. You know, yeah. you can still do over the phone interviews. Yeah. Even now, with the internet, one of the big benefits is you can still get a picture. I, can, I, can bring, I rang somebody up this morning and did an interview with him. Obviously, not going to go down and, and take a picture in this current environment, but you can, you know, send me yeah. a suitable one competing over. So you have got to do that. Long term, 
for me and everyone in the newspaper industry, there's, there's, there's no point pretending otherwise. Sizes of papers are going to go down. Yeah. The businesses who advertise in the paper, which supplies the revenue, aren't going to be advertising. Certainly not at the same rates, you know. And everything is going to dwindle. So it's, you know, it's it, there's no point denying it's an uncertain future for everyone, you know, um, for all of us, even, just just like so many others, you know. Um, but, but yeah, it, it's in certain times ahead. Yes. Yeah, and hopefully, uh, you know, no one that, you know. <sighs> Not, not no one who's always sound selfish again, saying no one that we knows gets it and gets seriously yeah. ill and pass yeah, away. Yeah, I mean, you know, p people are going to get it, people are going to be ill, people are going to pass away. Yeah, exactly. you, know, you know, your thoughts are with course, those, yeah. those at the, you know, at the bottom line, whenever things do get hard, that's where you just got to remind yourself, so well, hang on, there's, yeah. there's people yeah. in hospital, there's, there's you know, we know people, you know, within our families who, who work in the NHS, don't we? Yeah, of course, yeah. You yeah. know, and, you know, the, the, you know, whilst we're, Swanning around trying to find things to do, <laughs> thinking yes. about what trader and what trader we're going to do. <laughs> yes. They're going to be going to work, yeah, you know, on the front line. On the front line, yeah. you know, you know, trying to find, make sure they got PPE and dealing with staff shortages and dealing with extra patients. So, you know, it's not, uh, you know, it's not. Uh, no, no. no <laughs> you know, it's not. It's, you know, it's, it might be difficult for some of us, but you know, you've got to look at that and you've got to look at. Uh, yeah, you can't belittle other people's worries or other people's. You know, no, mental health that that will be affected by and other things like no, that. But you've no. also got to put in perspective yeah. those who are working really hard to fight this. Like, 100%, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. It's a it's a much bigger picture to everyone. And like we just said before, people have got to adapt to get through yeah. it and, and try and keep perspective. There we go. We'll uh, we'll wrap this up and uh, and let's see if we can uh, get someone. Well, we don't know if we can get so we get no, someone by video next it. next time, isn't it? Get Mogs or something. Mogs. <laughs> get Mogs to talk about Liverpool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah no efforts. <laughs> talk, talk about Liverpool and his St. David's, uh, rug St. David's rugby. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>